All right, I'm finally uh, back with you on the Audi TDI swap. I think it might be my first video. It's one of my older videos anyways. I swapped it in my, one of my first cars I owned when I was a kid. Um, it was a red Audi over here anyways. The transmission ended up not bolting up. I was just originally going to use the blue one as a parts car. But um, since the transmission bolts up to it, I'm just going to put the engine in it. Uh, I'm going to keep my old Audi. Eventually, I'm going to do something in it. But uh, for now, this is going in the blue car. Maybe eventually I can make a custom bracket or get someone to make me a custom bracket to bolt up my car, but I want to get it in the car get something going here. So we're pulling this in. See how it goes. All right, so let's just calmly bring it in. No browns or anything. Hey, relax, relax. Oh, oh I almost rolled over my boards. Nice. It's looking like we have to go around the front and straighten out a bit more, but uh, we're going to pull a little more here. Let's see what happens. Okay, that'll be good for now. Careful, hey. Easy. Alright, here we go again. So, yeah, other than uh, those boards that have lying on the ground, it has zero brakes, no transmission to leave it in gear, anything like that. I'm just hoping I don't hit the garage. Turn the wheel in. Side with it. Maybe I'll double the rope. Strap. Truck's sound hot. 33 out. Alright, let's get it going here. I'm gonna pull it right over the boards this time because it's a bit of a dip there. I think the bumper might hit still. Got the little turn. Looks like the bumper is going to clear, but I'm not sure about the undercarriage. Once the back wheels get in the garage, it's close. Oh, she's kind of in the garage. <laughs> All right, I'm going to straighten it out. People like the school of cars down here. I don't know if it's my neighbors or what. Don't sit in care. Alright, we should be good now. Put some more boards on it. Should clear it from here and grind it on this a bit. I think it's in. <laughs> That's what she said. Hopefully not. <laughs> Alright, it's in the garage. Yeah, she needs a little love. But door panel mainly, but I think it'd be a cool car when it's done. Center caps, different tires. We drop it down a bit. The engine will lower it down a bit though, I guess. Lights, lights, windows, door panel, and not just the engine, I guess. 
Pretty cool. Yeah, it's a TDI with the six speed print. With a bigger turbo, bigger injectors. Built a bit. It's a pretty cool car. Alright, I guess I'll take the truck out now. Pull the engine and transmission over here, and I'll put the car back in that corner. Get ready to bring the engine in the front, kind of. Alright, got the truck out. Got the sitting over there for a while, making some room. Digging it out, and roll over here and try to get the car in the corner. And the wheels are all digging piece up. Come on, darling. Alright, let me get to now. Just I'll sweep this out, and then I'll uh, exactly roll easier with the car on it. Alright, let's get this freaking thing in there, eh? You want to kind of guide it? Yep, huge. It's more I'm always like to hold the engine so it's not spinning around and stuff. Hold it from the far end, it'll be easier. Yep. You'll have to hold it perfectly still. But... Yeah, I pushed hard I did. I was used to being stuck there. Let me lower it down a bit more. Yeah. I just try to get this the mount over the cross it down so you down the bottom. I think you did. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a little car. Um, I'm not sure how I want to do this. I need that jack and I need room. So. I'd like to get a jack stand. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I 
much. So I'm just going to jack it up here a bit, put the jack stand on the side of it. Change plan, put the jack stand in front. See the whole thing, it's in like that one. Thank you, good for now. Thank you, we have a break. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Yeah, the, the jack's kind of holding it, but um, I'm just not sure. They might need to reposition the engine. I might need to move the engine out of it to connect the drive shaft. The generation. Yeah. <laughs> Hello.